So somewhere, I'm listed as an African-American lesbian, but that's not my set. So anyway, I'm working on another program now. It's called Divorce is Not an Option, but Death is. Now, I don't make or write my own material. My wife does. And how this came out is this. One day, you, you, you seem like a sensible fellow. <laughs> Somebody paid you a shitload of money to sit in front and keep us all lubricated, which is great. But divorce. So my wife, she's a sweet, petite. I haven't seen the check. I haven't seen the check. Yeah, talk to Jeff. Jeff writes all the check. So my wife and I are talking. You ever have a conversation with your partner that doesn't seem like it goes anywhere? He says one thing, she says another thing. And soon, the word. The D word slipped out of my lips. Divorce. She stopped me. And she said, what the fuck you talking? And I looked, I said, sweetheart, it seems we're at an impasse. And she stopped. I felt like I was at the OK Corral. It was like a stillness, her blue eyes like steel. And she said, let me be clear. Divorce is not an option. But death is. Yeah. Hear what it is. I feel your pain, brothers. But you ever have any trouble with communications? You guys over there, young, handsome, why would you give up your single life? You wake up in the morning, you play with yourself, you jerk off. You know, life is great. You have a cold beer, you feel great. Then you jerk off again or play with your crotch. It's, you know, why give up that wonderful single thing? And if you want something cuddling, you got your dog or something like that. But anyway, so relationships. Have you ever noticed and wondered, women, why you can't communicate with men? And I've been exploring this issue. Men are not just from Mars or from another planet. We are from a distant fucking galaxy. All the way out there, man cave galaxy. There we do what we want. We wake up in the morning, we turn on the TV, we watch football, do all those man cave things, but we're sophisticated. We have poetry, we have philosophers, etc. Lovers, kind people, and we keep them locked in a cage. You see, we don't want them to affect the population, or else we'll be like Earth. And then, on another galaxy, is the chick pad, where they get to have like Manola shoe stores on every street corner. Their image of a man, they begin to communicate. But communications, suddenly, God, God has a very sick sense of humor. She decides that she's gonna bring all of them to Earth and come together for a conversation. And then begins this thing. You know, in New York City, I think it's an amazing, we're always reminded about relationships. Anybody ever see a Dewar's commercial poster on a subway? This is a little abstract. Now, Jeff was warning me, he says, you know, this is a six drink minimum crowd and they're only at five drinks, but go slow. Anyway, a Dewar's commercial, right there, there is a big poster and the woman, is looking there in the mirror, and she said, honey, do I look fat? 
guys, have you ever had those questions? They said, do you look fat? Does your outfit look good? Is my hair perfect? At the bottom it said, when you're ready for a question like that, you are ready for doer's scotch. <laughs> I think it meant that you need to drink. A fearless sensibility that happens in relationship. Now, I love my wife. She's adorable. But I wonder. Women know everything. Guys, there's not a fucking thing that they don't know. The other night, 4.30 in the morning, she woke up. I see the light. Thank you very much. I want to share the revelation, the insights of total stupidity in 40 years of failed marriages with this kind audience. So... At 4.30 in the goddamn morning, she wakes up and she said, you've been fucking around. 4.30 in the morning. I didn't have coffee yet. She said, seven years ago, 36 days, four hours ago, you were on 37th and Broadway, there was a redhead there, and your dick was standing straight up. 4.30 in the morning? I don't remember. And then she went back to sleep. I wasn't. But it's part of the mindfuck of relationships. Women know everything. It's a life on a fragile balance. And so always I say this. Remember, you could go through lots of arguments, discussions. The wife is always right. She wouldn't have it any other way. And the man, because we are from the sacred anointed planet, man cave. We are just perfect. So the wife is always right. The husband, never wrong. Just. Now is the hook. It comes. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I